Hey guys. Just when I thought I was gonna lose it, um, I was reading some of your all's comments on the last video. I was seriously gonna start crying because I started telling my mom everything that was going on and it's just like, it's just been really hectic. Ever since my dad got sick and got his stroke, it's just like everything has been happening. Just if I were to list every single thing that's happened in the past five years, you guys would understand why. And I, I try to stay strong and I try to be quite close to the Lord. little overwhelming sorry guys anyway um, I just wanted to update you guys uh, I just got a call from H hubby he just told me <clears throat> it's cuz he scared me cuz he said he was gonna get admitted and I just dropped off my kids with my mom and um, So I'm driving back, I have to go to the hospital, and um, he basically told me that um, they didn't, they, that they didn't find an infection, so that's, that's a good thing, and I'm like, it's because they shouldn't have found an infection, because I did everything right, you know, I learned from the, the time that he had gotten like a little cyst or a pimple or something on his foot, and he hadn't told me anything, he waited for about a week. And he hadn't told me anything until it blew up. And then he came to me, the kind of the way that he came to me this time. And he said, um, babe, I have something to tell you. And it freaked me out. I was like, okay, like I, you know, and then he's like, but I don't want you to get scared. And then he shows me his foot and it's all inflamed. And it was, it scared me. And what they did was, they had to go in there and debris it and they had to cut off a big chunk. I'm not sure if you guys remember that. I don't know if you guys have been with me that long, but they took a big chunk from his, uh, from one of his toes and, um, you know, I had to clean it three times a day. I had to pack it. I had to put aloe gel on it. I had to, you know, uh, wrap it. I had to do everything. I mean, I'm a medical assistant, but I didn't get trained to do all that. You know, I've been in the medical field for a long time and you know, I'm not scared of seeing stuff like that or anything, but, and then with his legs, you know, he had his legs all burned and I was so scared to take that on also. And everybody was telling me, you know, take him to the hospital. I did everything. I put aloe vera, I put essential oils. I cleaned it, I put a triple antibiotic, I dressed it, I did everything for it. And I, we took him to the Renaissance because it was looking really scary and we went and they said there's no infection. So I've been doing the exact same thing every single time that he ends up getting an infection. And so this time I was like there shouldn't be an infection. What's going on is that um, because I applied the aloe vera. I feel like the wound wanted to close it up. The, the wound wanted to close itself up. So it wasn't allowing me to squeeze out the pus or, or a little bit. It wasn't, even, it wasn't even a chunky pus. It was more like a liquidy, uh, more blood, like, like a liquid with a little, like a little bit of blood and not that much um, pus. When you want to worry is when it has a lot of pus like the chunky pus that, that, that smells bad. That, that's, that's kind of like, ugh. so you need to be careful with that. But with diabetics, you really can't take a chance. But my husband is a little stubborn and he's like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Just, just do it. You know, just do it. Just clean it. Just, you know, and I'm on top of him and I have a spiral and I write everything. I put his insulin, what I, what, how many units, what he ate. I've been doing this for so many years with him. So right now, when I got the call, I was like, I didn't want to go through that whole thing all over again. Or for them to tell me I did something wrong. Like, I just don't want that on my shoulders, you know? Like, I 
but luckily everything's okay supposedly I'm I'm heading over there right now and apparently he doesn't have an infection so that's good they're gonna go ahead and open him up and they're gonna like just clean it which is I could have done it but I didn't want to risk it because he's diabetic like I don't I don't have the sterile things to do that so I knew that that's what it was because it just looked like like everything was just being trapped there like the liquid was just being trapped there it was just a small little hole that was allowing some of the the stuff to come out Hold on, guys. There's an ambulance. Okay. So, um, yeah, he, I, I guess the nurse got there right now, and that's what they were going to start doing, but I, I wanted to be there for it because I have a little bit more of a character. <laughs> And I, you know, I say what goes and what doesn't go, you know, like I'm not going to allow them to overdo things or over medicate him and stuff like that. Or, you know, I, I, for the most part, I allow them to do what they need to do. But, you know, I know my husband more than I think they do. So anyway, I just kind of want to uh, update you. And sometimes hus my husband forgets some some things and he doesn't mention them and or he tweaks it a little bit and doesn't want to get in trouble and doesn't say the full thing so I kind of wanted to be there and you know to make sure everything was okay and because of the medical background and stuff I wanted to go ahead and you know see what they were doing and stuff but I knew I was doing everything right and I I knew that there shouldn't have been an infection the reason why I was taking him was you know so that they could give him a tetanus shot so that I could get you know the prescriptions I need because I was able to get uh, insulin over the counter and I'm so grateful that my friend that I used to work with at the nursing home Billy he told me that um, Walmart actually sells over-the-counter insulin now so that in itself was kind of like oh what do I get him you know because when he got when he got hurt the first time with his with his toe when they took a bunch of it out like they debrided it out um, they had prescribed him Lantus and Humulin 7030. So I had told the doctor, is there any way we could get a generic? You know, and he's like, well, what kind of results do you want? Do you want good results or do you want muscle menos results? And I, was, I thought that was a little rude at the time, but I understand what he was saying. So he said, you need to get the best uh, insulin, which was the Lantus. That was the main one that he wanted us to get. So anyway so I couldn't remember for the life of me um, which one he was taking before so I called the pharmacy up my friend's pharmacy the TLC pharmacy and I asked one of the gentlemen I said look it's been a few years my husband uh, ordered some insulin from there he's like okay he looked it up and he found that it was you know the Humulin the 7030 so I go to Walmart and I'm like just walking around. I'm debating, should I even do this? You know, I I, did, I was getting some funny looks from the pharmacist, and then the pharmacist ended up. Um, he approached me and he said, if if I if he could help me, and I said, you know what, my my husband used to take the Humulin 7030, but he also took the Lantus, and I'm trying to get him some insulin. So he's like, well, you can try the Novolin 7030. So I said, okay. So then I took that on. So as soon as I saw the infection, I said, okay, we're going to do the amoxicillin, uh, amoxicillin, and then we're going to do, we're going to clean it three times a day, we're going to wrap it, we're going to do the olive oil, we're going to do the essential oils, you know, we're going to do all this stuff, and, you know, I, I, I did everything that I've done before, and I just, I was like, I just didn't want that on my shoulders, I didn't want to just, you know, because I was seeing hubby in a lot of pain I was seeing him with fevers and you know he was thrown in bed and oh, that's not like hubby I don't like to see him like that 
And he's like, I don't know if you guys know this, but he's like the main provider to our family. So it kind of scares me a little. Not that I can't make it on. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, you know, <laughs> I handle mine. I handle mine. <laughs> I have a good head on my shoulders. And if need be, I would do it. But, you know, I mean, the kids don't want to see their dad like that. And I don't want to. It's just diabetes sucks, you know. It's just been a lot. <clears throat> and all this within five years, guys. <laughs> he had his toe and then his legs. And then he got a burn on his arm. And then he got... Este muchacho me va a quedar puros pedazos. You know? Daddy with his stroke, me in the hospital with bleeding, over bleeding, DNCs, hysterectomy, hubby con todo esto, papi con eso. My sister in law with her thing. My mom just told me right now my brother's sick too. He's planning on going to the hospital. It's just, buen hombre. Can we just get a break? I need a break. And I'm sorry to throw all this on here. I just, you guys are just so supportive and you guys are so nice to me. And sometimes I just wanna, I can't vent with everybody else. You know, I can't vent with my husband. I don't want him to make him feel like, you know, bad and can't vent with my kids, you know? Might as well vent to Facebook, right? <laughs> Where everyone has an opinion. <laughs> but, for the most part, you guys have always been really kind to me. So, for the most part. Los que no, I just ignore them or I just, you know, I don't need that. But, for the most part, everybody's been really kind. I try to put out a lot of positive out there. And I'm hoping I receive the same. Because... I don't like to see, I, I mean, sometimes I'm scrolling down my news feed and it's just like, my goodness, everybody's sick right now. Everybody, oh my gosh, like I'm, I'm praying for everybody, everybody, seriously. Like every time I see something on my news feed, like I try to post a comment, like I'm praying for you. You know, I try to do stuff like that for, we need to put more positive things out there. And I'm sorry, I should be putting more positive things right now, but today I was just not happy. It was just a lot. Yesterday, I had a little moment with my family. You saw that. We went to the park. My husband really wanted to go and walk and, you know, just be out because he had been thrown in bed and stuff. And, you know, we went and and then look, amaneció así. He couldn't sleep last night. I said, you know what? He's not sleeping. He couldn't breathe. Because uh, my son got him sick. He wasn't breathing properly. And he was just like back and forth, back and forth. And going to the restroom and then coming out. And it's just like... I, I, I took some of my, my NyQuil, the H-E-B brand that I bought for me when I was sick. I bought a new bottle. And I said, here, take this. And he slept all the way. He didn't wake up till about 11 o'clock this morning. And I didn't want to leave him. I wanted to go to church and everything, but I didn't want to leave him because what if he got a fever or what if something worse happened? I mean, I, as soon as he woke up, I fed him. We gave him, you know, the insulin. We gave him the amoxicillin. I checked his wound and I saw that it was like, okay. Uh, so I said, you know what? If si no lo muevo yo, he's not gonna move. Let's go to the hospital. Packed the kids, got everything ready, got their food stuff, got everything ready. Went to go take him. He doesn't like to go into the hospital by himself. So, you know, I got down. I couldn't even go in. I had to wait in the lobby because I had my kids. Then told my brother, told him if I could drop him off, which ya le estoy cargando más a mi mom because my mom has my dad, you know, who suffered a stroke. And I don't want to put that on her, you know, but anyway. Dropped off the kids. She's like, don't worry about it. They're going to be fine. <clears throat> and then 
drive all the way back to do this but at least I got some good news and I'm hoping that when I get there the good news stays I hopefully they just clean it and take care of what they got to do and he can come home I don't want them to take off a big chunk of his day of his um, of his finger and just you know I don't I need to breathe I've been talking since Palm View all the way over here and I'm already here in Edinburgh Y la que siempre quiere estar bella. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't put on a lot of mascara. <laughs> anyway. I just need a break, guys. I need a break. And I hope you know it's like no insurance, okay? There's like, we have no insurance. We have no medical insurance. And I have all these bills coming in from all these hospitals all year long. I got five dollars in my pocket <laughs> I'm like oh my gosh and my my family's the same way right now they're like we're like super broke and I'm like I gotta go home pack some food take it over there I can't even give them any money right now to to watch my kids right now I mean not that you have to because they're family but I always do I try to give them something for watching my kids even it's for the, even if it's for them to get a pizza or for them to put gas or whatever, but I can't right now. I'm super broke. It's like I don't even know I'm gonna have a Christmas. But as long as I have hubby healthy and my kids healthy, that's all that matters, right? Anyway, guys, I'm pulling in here. <sighs> pulling into the hospital. You know, um, I hadn't really ever come to this hospital. We came one time. Um, one time, uh, because my husband had the car accident, we came here. We brought him here because it was, I don't know, we always go to Renaissance. But we came here, and this is the second time we're here. So they're really nice. And... It's because if you go to Renaissance, it's like super packed. If, it, if it's for women's stuff, I, I go to women's hospital at Renaissance. But this one, I mean, I like it because there's not so many people. And the waiting room area is not as, like, stressful. Here it's tamas tranquilo, tamas. There's hardly any people, you know? Like, I don't know. I just, we decided on coming here. So, I'm here. Y hay que dejar de llorar porque vamos a ver a, al marido y vamos a ver al doctor. Y a ver qué nos dicen. I should be rushing in, but... Kind of trying to calm down, say a quick prayer. <sighs> y hay que seguir dándole. <laughs> ¿Qué más? Can't do anything. Okay, guys. Hopefully the next. Hopefully the next time you guys see me, I am a little better, and hopefully hubby's better. Sorry about the sad note. Sorry about the tears. I don't like bringing that usually. I like being more positive, but... Sometimes life hits hard. <clears throat> anyway, thank you for everybody who's been donating to my sister-in-law. I really appreciate it, guys. I know she really appreciates it. I like to ask for other people, usually not myself, but I appreciate all the prayers you guys do for hubby and for me when I've been sick and stuff. 
I appreciate everything you guys respond so positively and try to uplift everything and prayers and thank you for everything. Anyway, we're going to go inside. I'm going to go inside. I don't know why we're talking then. We. I'm going to go inside. We, me and my spirit, are going to go inside. <laughs> I'm going to go inside and I'm going to see qué está pasando. And hopefully everything comes out okay. So, bye guys. You guys see whatever I can see, whatever I can video. But, thanks for everything. Bye guys.